taken away from Xion. Yeah, the only top laner in history, basically, in the LPL that actually gets the Yasuo consistently banned away from him is in second. Being an ex-jungler, getting a carry top ban from you raises some questions. Yeah, definitely a bit of an interesting scenario. Fizz now banned away from Korn. Not a chance he's going to secure that. Two MVP-worthy performances removed from King's side already. And it looks like it's all straight business for OMG. As you can see, the coach on their side is communicating quite effectively with his team. So he should be. Of course, King not being the first pick, they're going to be forced into a Callista ban next, you would imagine, based off the fact that they got rid of the Rise now. And OMG, being on the blue side of the map, they're able to target ban essentially with this get rid of whatever they would like and they have completely target ban yeah they certainly have echo now banned away from huey and the last ban is going to be Callista. now brahm still open and amazing calls dibs yeah thankfully getting rid of that one of course being on different sides of the rift this time blue side always the ones able to target ban red side banning out of necessity yeah getting rid of both rising Callista as shen was their other option here Something that Insect played in the last game, so don't want to give that one over to Shang at all. They pick up the Braum though, which is great for Amazing. He Again, he played fine on the Alistar, but the Braum is much more preferred. He's a very strong support when they lane swap and they unlock him with a Braum who can then roam around with his jungler instead of just being the cow that <laughs> does stuff, but not as prolifically. Yeah, not as stuff-like or stuffable as a uh, Not as impactful, a Braum. I guess, would be yeah. a better word. Stuffable. Currently, really Sivir a... being hovered over yeah. by Name. Insect was looking at Tom Kench. I think he was just examining Does the portrait. Does it every like, time, honestly. What, what is that champion? I've never seen him before. I would love yeah. to see an insect. Uh, an insect, <laughs> yes. You're saying uh, an insect. He's right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I know. The one He's on Jana. screen. The cameraman can hear me. Yeah, but that's going to be Janna and Sivir locked in for Name and Zero. Yeah, he's actually got the Janna here. Both of those champions that have been picked in the first rotation were banned in the last game. So a lot of adaptions here from both of the teams, though the Sivir remains as the same for Name as in game one. And he did a lot of work on that Sivir, it has to be said. He's got Janna with him. So the double shield bot lane, similar to the Morgana, but with more of an AD boost for this Sivir, who otherwise you would consider a fairly low AD style of champion mm -hmm. has a lot of wave clear likes to last hit minions can now do quite well and actually does quite well into a corky which would be interesting yeah loveling currently hovering that corky right now as it's gragas locked in i don't know why loveling didn't lock that in considering it's his phase of the draft because it doesn't work like that <laughs> clearly not instead it's maokai picked up for xion so they've picked up their laners Sorry, their jungle and their top lane duo here. The Maokai is going to be in Xiang's hands. Banned last game again. So a lot of changes in drafting compared to their last games. And now they've got the Gragas for Lovelink. Something that is very strong in his hands. And I cannot wait to see how this unfolds yet again. Most certainly looks to be an exciting set for OMG. As they once again have got the strong tanky frontliner. Plus some pretty consistent peel. It's up to King to respond right now. They need mid, jungle, and top. Korn looking at Cassidy now Diana. Two strong assassins. We'll see what he decides to go for. It's actually a bit funny. Last Yesterday, his assassin play was less than stellar. It was questionable. And he did his job. Yeah, and in some cases, might have actually lost him the game. But today, he looks like a completely different player. He looks great today. And I guess it's the team that he's against as well. Mm -hmm. It's how that changes is that he was trying to split push, trying to make things happen, and would just repeatedly get caught making yeah. mistakes in that regard. He was up against a team of very good individual players today. Not to say they're not good individual players <laughs> by any means, but they're a lot more team focused. Yeah. A lot more team based. They do everything as five men and try and make it work in team fighting. So might work a little bit better this time, picking people off and assassinating North or Cool. Yeah, now Evelyn has been locked in for Huey. Diana locked in for Korn. In answer, OMG decide to commit to Corky and Azir for North and Cool, respectively. Yeah, so the same mid laner here for Cool. He saw a lot of success on the champion through laning phase at the very least. Made some nice Azir sex style plays, which is aptly named when he's against Insect. And then North has decided to go for this Corky as well. He's played a fair bit of Corky recently. Three of his past four games, I believe. 
Nice to see him back on this champion. It's a bit harder to go super aggressive and get yourself killed. Yeah. Cork compared to the Vayne. Once again, though, Korn will be diving for that back line. Will be. This time, however, Korn does not have an untargetable to get over the uh, Azir wall. So already we're starting to see things a little bit different. Zero. What? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love this guy. Insect, last pick Poppy in his last game of week 10. Grinning from ear to ear, Poppy has been locked in, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow, She Young's like, wait, what? They're laughing at him. They're like, why would you pick this champion? <laughs> oh, what does gosh. it even do? <laughs> she Young's happy too. Oh, man. Insec is just the innovator <laughs> of top lane. He's the guy that went from jungle to top <laughs> and has decided to play Yasuo top exclusively. Yeah. He then played Rengar and Vladimir until they were all getting banned away from him. Yeah. Now he's just decided to play Poppy. Oh, my god. It doesn't even need justification. It's Insec. <laughs> And he's playing top lane, so that's why it's happening. Oh, man. I'm just really, really excited this to is, see how he goes. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Xi Young versus Insect. Your eyes do not deceive you. That is Poppy locked in to deal with that Maokai to help him out. Huey's in the jungle on Evelyn Loveling, trying to deal with it on Gragas. In the mid lane, it's going to be Cool versus Korn, Azir versus Diana. You know what I like about the pick is that it's still an assassin to a degree. Yeah. <laughs> is that he ran out of other assassin options and decided to go for Poppy. I hope oh he has Lollipop as well. Oh my goodness, That's that would best. be great. Oh man, I don't know what he's going to go for. We're going to find out as we load into the rift right now. Man who looks very similar to High, in fact, cheering us along as we prepare to get into this one. This is going to be a very interesting game. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to get into this one. The team comp of OMG, pretty good. Yeah, we're loading into the rift right now. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's week number 10, day number three, set number four, game number two, 30 seconds in. Poppy is on the rift, Insec is playing Poppy. That's still a pretty good skin. It's Granted. pretty cool. Oh, Poppy skin's is, good in a weird way. Is her hair fire? No, she's just a red. red. Whoa! Insect's like, oh my god! I've made a mistake. He gets <laughs> yeah. back to his turret. OMG are invading the jungle of King right now, and they instantly leave their own jungle to go elsewhere. Place some vision down as required, because you OMG looking for that lane swap. Okay. Yeah. Looking to prevent yes. the lane swap debatably right now. Because Poppy in laning phase, going to be, gets the ward. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Outplayed, auto attack reset, Poppy start a Q. That's ten all the gold. knowledge they have. Yeah, 10 gold for King. They know Poppy was on that side of the map. Oh, they don't have any more I don't know Name wards. is though. Oh, they don't, yeah. They could be playing right into this lane swap. OMG still deep in King's jungle. Could look for some action as Insect starts heading out to look for a double jungle. Yeah, OMG now sitting in a bush together. Doesn't look <laughs> like anything crazy is going to happen unless King decide to face check. Excuse me, friend. That's a puppy. I guess crazy things have already happened. Yeah, we have passed that point. Oh, we're getting standard lanes here. Seems Upside like. down. Jungle will be invaded for OMG as they're starting off on the Raptor camp on King's side of the map. Horn clearing out as best he can while Name finds both North and Amazing. Okay, so we're, we're all excited for what's going on with that Poppy and how that's going to work out, but let's talk about the other lanes for now because for the time being, he's just going to get some solo experience. Yeah, he's a Trinity Force champion, of course, so we'll just see what happens down there later on. We'll touch back in with that one. We look at the junglers. Huey actually back to that Evelyn away from the Echo as it was banned from him. And that is a lot of early pressure. Still, he loves to be around the map, getting those ganks down, but hasn't actually found much success on that Evelyn as of late. Has really struggled to find victories with that champion, irrespective of his performance. Has just flatline struggled to get anything done. Yeah, well, this time there are two large elements of surprise. One of them is an Evelyn, the other is a Poppy. 
as Insect and Xiong are now trading back and forth. Full sustain from Insect as he starts Crystalline Flask and some pots. So the side note, though, is that an adaption that Xiang might want to take into this lane is an early Spectre's Cow, because Poppy works with percentage health on that Q, and he will need some resistances, not only for the lane, but for the jungler, who will need out to spend time there. Yeah, Huey's already coming down to look for something, but the wave is pushed just a little bit too much, and the gank will not succeed. It's an interesting sap to throw there, right Shane. I think it's a, it's a chase sapling. If someone's chasing me, I can run to it. Oh. Hopefully no one chases him in the next <laughs> That is the hope as Insect continues to trade it away, and Xiong tries to heal up to keep pace. Meanwhile, in the duo lane, looks like Name is doing generally well, taking some harass from North and well, amazing. Doing generally well is a bit of an overstatement as to how he's doing right now. Down 7 CS already and half health. Oof. Does have the potion available, but the Braum into this matchup is fantastic. Name can't spell shield anything because he's struggling to find the time to do so. And running out of mana in this lane is indicative of very poor performance thus far for the bot lane in the top lane of King. In the bot top lane? The, the Australian lanes. Exactly. <laughs> and in the mid lane, it seems like Cool is having a much better game as well. Corn down 10 CS so far and down very low health and mana. We could see Cool continue to put the pressure on and try to force that teleport out of Corn once again. But this is reminiscent of what happened in game number one, where OMG had a very strong laning phase, but King ended up coming back with some killer team fights. But of course, last game was that lane swap, so things are a little bit different this time as OMG's 2v2 is working out for them so very well right now. This Braum having such a big impact, and Evelyn's going to be able to get in position for a gank, but Loveling's already here. Yeah, Name's looking tasty, but he's oh. caught out. They managed to find him. The stun will lock him out. He goes low, forced to flash, exhaust, North oh. chases, but he goes really aggressive. Insects teleporting in. No, There's a lot enough. of damage on the North. There's the knockup here, right? That is the Diana. First blood picked up for Loveling, but he trades it right back over to Name. Born only level 5, but that was an interesting decision to flash. I don't think he needed to. OMG, get out with the first blood and only a one-for-one -one trade for junglers. All things considered, not actually too bad, because meanwhile in the mid lane, farming furiously. Oh, Insect denying the charge with his slam. Solid play, but I don't know, was she on denying Insect? Yeah. But again, to touch on how this actually impacts the rest of the match, this one for one in the top lane is that North went hyper aggressive again. So the bot lane's fine right now. Name's the one who picked up the kill as well, compared to that of Loveling who got one for himself. So this bot lane's fine, but mid is horrendous at yeah. the moment. <laughs> Given the CS discrepancy between the two, the fact that Korn was forced to recall and then teleported to the top lane. You can see it's going to start impacting them sooner rather than later. That's two trinkets that have been gifted yeah. to King. OMG. It's not an OMG game if the other team isn't playing with a handicap. Well, to a degree. <laughs> Level 6 now picked up by Insect as Xiong is able to successfully out-sustain the Poppy for now. Seems like Xiong is having a great time. I guess now we know why he was smiling so ecstatically at seeing that Poppy Huey. Looking like he might try to find Lovelink. A lot of pressure is going to be placed in this lane in particular right now. Just because of how Lovelink's earlier gank actually affected him. Huey's even here at the moment. Lovelink trying to defend by himself. If he finds a point of aggression, the Evelyn will be here to capitalize on that. So, smartly recalling right now North, not looking for any opportunity to fight things. Does want to get his eyes. We should have a base. And Korn, just getting level six, but continuing to take some crazy harass from Cool Huey, completely ignoring him. Doesn't want to try dealing with the Azir. Looks like he might yeah. finally head down there. There's a pink ward in the bush. We'll see if Huey can play around it, but Decided to turn around the edges instead. Was neither spotted nor spotted the ward. Yeah, so one of the, the cool things about that pink ward is that it's not a very good pink ward <laughs> and should be placed a little bit deeper at the very least in the same bush so that it reaches further with its range because an Evelyn can skirt the edges of the river and not actually be spotted by the pink ward at all. Really? Yeah. So 
Evelyn followed like that that upper edge where the little owl waterfall is. No, no, further back towards his own red buff. So the entrance. I see, I see. Very tricky situation. We'll see if Huey is able to play around it as he has now secured his own red buff. Still not level six yet, so not finding any ganks. And Insect heads now to the top lane with his recall. Picks up a sheen first while Nane and Zero head to the buff. Trinity Force going to be a big point here for the Poppy because once you get that, no one else can target you with your ultimate anyway and you can definitely assassinate people. So definitely wait for that one. Once Insect actually has that item available, he'll be able to do stuff at the moment. Not really able to do anything at all. And as mentioned, the adaption of itemization from Xiang, yeah. very smartly done here to get the magic resistance against Insect, who does a fair bit of percentage magic damage, and Huey doesn't go for that health, which is the direct counter, mm -hmm. which is what Insect was looking forward to. So smart play from Xiang. Actually knowing what a poppy does. <laughs> Smart play. It's generally a good thing. Ooh, Boomerang gets soaked up by Amazing. Level 6 now picked up by both of our AD carries as Huey on the bottom side of the map, but so too is Loveling. It's moments like this, you wish you had a Philosopher's Stone again in so <laughs> <laughs> Bad Oh, one. man. Heart of Gold. Yeah, two pillow stones and a heart of gold. I'm sure, I'm sure Insect has a heart of gold. He's a great guy. Yes, but he doesn't have the item, which is what we were looking for. <laughs> oh, denying the minion. Oh man, not able to get the cannon. Here comes Loving, however, level six and the spell shield has been used. Nami's continuing to go aggressive as not the blue is being stolen. Yeah, cool. He's already got one blue, and Korn can't contest it. Now, Huey's bottom looking for a gank, while the rest of them here at his blue buff looking for the buff. And one of them gives a direct result, an instant satisfaction. The other one's a little bit risky in that yeah. Huey is now going to go back to his blue buff and realize that it is no longer there. Yeah. He's going to say, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, and then head back to the Really doubt he'll say that. <laughs> I'd be pleasantly surprised if he did. <laughs> yeah. Though he won't. <laughs> Would make for a great experience all in all, but that gank will not succeed. Blue buff now secured again by Cool. He gets two blues in a row, and now it looks like OMG are preparing for the dragon. They certainly are, and they have the advantage solely off the back of Insect being poppy and not being able to do anything <laughs> in laning phase. So Working for the late game here, King. They also just want to be here and potentially steal it. And Huey, whoa, gets a huge shield with the Agony's Embrace, but gets knocked back into the team. Zero drops a monsoon. No teleport from card. either of the top laners just yet. As Huey continues to provide chase, there goes Korn. He dashes in, nets a kill. The first one for King in this team fight, but still no teleport as Insect and Chiyoung. No, he actually canceled Chiyoung's teleport by knocking in. Yeah, it is. Well played, though, from King, all in all, of course. Korn making his way down, not using that teleport and finding a kill for himself. Name. Yeah, going really aggressive. Oh, Huey's here. Yeah, Huey is indeed. He doesn't have the ultimate flashes under the turret. He's at low health. Can he hide it out a little bit more? No, oh. Name goes low. He's tagged the turret. Oh, <laughs> finishes him off. Amazing gets a kill in revenge. Why were you diving? Evelyn didn't have the ultimate. Oh, my God. Insect. Uh oh, Insect solo. He blows the ultimate, but Xion... It's going to stall the minions out. He's got nothing to do here, nowhere to be. Sapling won't be enough to kill. Does know how that ultimate Malkai can still hit you. Yeah. You don't really achieve anything. Maybe, maybe he thought Insect would go deep and then the minions would turn onto him if he attacks. Yeah. Sure. Well, OK. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, Insect actually, take a second to notice, his itemization has been having a very rough time yeah. in this laning phase himself, being that poppy. <laughs> Going for the Spectre's Cow. Going to be nice once he actually gets that one. I'd say the Spirit Bazaar, just because he wants a bit of cooldown reduction as soon as possible. Yeah. And he's already committed to half of the Spirit Visage, so Being forced into that itemization by a Maokai, not always a position you want to find yourself in, but Mid lane right now, cool. That's some serious zoning. Yeah, he's doing some serious work to Korn, who's actually caught up really well in CS, and even has some more gold to boot from netting that kill and assist, whereas Cool doesn't quite have that boot into himself. Korn is gonna catch all of this lovely CS under the turret while Lovelink, once again, looking to go aggressive on the bottom side. Huey, however, is prepared. Could look for a counter gang, but here comes Cool. 
Now Huey's going to be there. Cool has the teleport available, whereas neither top laners do. Uh -oh, they're going. They're diving in. Huey goes low, gets destroyed as he pulled the ultimate just a bit too soon. Cool's the one who nets the kill. Oh, yeah. And Korn tries to find Cool. He cannot quite pursue around the Emperor's Divide. He's got his flash, but will not try to fall. They do take the flash, but they lose Huey for their troubles. And again, a very risky decision here from King to want to mount a defense on that turret. Once again, Insect trading with Xiong, who's having the time of his life in this top lane. He's like, I signed up for an LPL game, not solo queue. What's going on? I don't even think solo queue plays Poppy. I don't think anyone ever plays Poppy <laughs> besides Insect at this stage. But again, it scales. Yeah. And if King were looking for one thing in this game, it's that 50-minute mark where they just cannot lose because they honestly have a pop in that is like <laughs> unbeatable levels of strength for this King lineup. But I guess they've got the Diana to bridge that gap. They've got the Sivir for the team fighting strength. And keep in mind, on the hunt with a pop, he's pretty damn scary. Is, is that actually a win condition? 50-minute poppy well, not, will win you the game? That's not the exact time. Okay. But, like, say 35 <laughs> minutes, yeah. 30 minutes maybe, depending on the amount of farm that he gets if he finds a kill. The Trinity Force is the big item. You're looking for the Mercury Treads, I would wager, and then potentially that second item, depending on what he goes for, whether it's a Blade of the Ruin King style or even an Infinity Edge style poppy. You don't really know. Oh, Huey takes a slow. He's looking for Xiong right now. Flash available. Knocked into the wall. Here comes a knockup from Zero as well. Xiong is going to flash. He will not be pursued and gets out alive. Insect doesn't have his flash available. Used it to knock Xiong into the wall. And he gets, a li gets out alive from having these early resistances able to sustain through the damage that they were putting onto him. Well played from Xiang, saving that flash, getting over the hole. Oh. oh yeah, Korn suddenly regretting this decision. He's forced to walk the long way around. Monsoon keeps him alive. He flashes the wall and Zero gets out too. They get out with their lives again. Another summoner spell has been burned here. So many summoner spells actually being used in this game, but not a whole lot of capitalization on these summoner spells being down. Only really timing the fights with having them available. So yeah. difficult stuff to do here from OMD to re-fight the Diana because the flash is not there. Of course, having teleport ever gets slow, just comes back to playing with full health again. Once again, that blue was stolen away by OMG. Dragon's up in a minute, right in the middle of that missing summoner spell window, and things might look a bit dangerous for King. Slightly dangerous, of course. Big item spikes have just been completed. The Nasha's Tooth, the Rune Glaive. Very, very big items for each respective player, of course, mid and jungle. The combat stats and the split pushing possibilities of Korn on this Diana are something worth noting. And I like the potential for the 1-3-1 of this King team comp because one of them deals with the Maka, the other one can kill their lane opponent. Whether it is the Azir, yeah. whether it is the Corky, they're not going to enjoy themselves. Whereas whoever's against the Melka, it's a very similar feeling of <laughs> lack of enjoyment. Oh, shouldn't then again re. Name clearing some waves out on the bottom side of the map. Looks to keep things entertaining as Huey with the completed recall now has a sight stone and his Cinder Hulk finish. Or is that a rune blade? Nope, that's a rune blade. That color is blue. That is a blue, yeah. He's going to have that one, that's for sure. But again, not a whole lot of vision control. Pretty much across the board here from both of these teams. There's one or two pinks, and then there's one or two green boards, basically. In core situations and core places, nothing crazy. No outstretched vision. The dragon is available. Yeah. Something that does need to be considered. And Sheng and Insect are just having at it. Yeah, they certainly are. The wet noodles heavily going in favor of Xiang as Insect is taking some serious punishment, just can't keep up with the stain, sustain. The top tier one goes down. Xiang might look for a kill here. Oh, there goes the ultimate. Insect is trying to trade it back over. Dangerous situation. He goes low, finds the stun. Can he manage to pick it up? They're trading it around. Dragon is secured. Insect is low. The minions. The poppy passive. Oh my god. What is the poppy passive? Oh my god, he lives. But there was complete and total chaos on the other side of the map. A double kill for cool and OMG secure the dragon. <laughs> Most importantly, the poppy lives, everybody. <laughs> but cool comes back. It is now a three and zero Azir on the back of a double kill around that dragon. OMG securing the dragon also. Oh no, Insect 
No! Not going to live through this attempt. And no idea why he was still on the map without having recalled. They lose another turret. They lose the bot lane turret. They lose the mid lane turret. And now the top lane control has been one in a 1v1. Not really sure what King is doing right now. Yeah, me either. Name looks to scare away the rest of OMG, but you said it exactly, Rusty. Three turrets go down within a one minute span. Four kills. I believe, no, actually it was three kills. And a dragon secured for OMG. Once again, OMG Huey. have complete control of the oh, early game. Yeah, Huey's chasing down Xion, but going to have a tricky time finding him. Name once again goes aggressive, but cannot find the kill. He chases forward. He looks for it. Oh, come on, Huey. What are you What are you doing? Insect oh, he's giving the kill, the kill yeah. to Insect. Okay. There's always a strategy. <laughs> Insect gets the kill. The snowball has begun for the Poppy. They get the bot lane turret. Horn rotating down, and we're going to see how this dragon fight unfolded. Now, Zero taking a lot of damage, and cool. Seemingly in a really bad position, actually oh, using man. that Emperor's Divide to knock them all within range and out of his face as a fantastic play from Cool. We saw this from him last game. He's doing it again. He's putting on a display for this OMG team. Yeah, he certainly is. Will he be able to carry once again? Well, about, I mean... He's about 30 CS ahead of Horn. Poppy's also two-thirds of the Trinity Force <laughs> in and found herself a kill on the back of Huey giving a silver platter, so yeah, things have been worse. The clock is ticking. Insect has got his timer set, and he is split-push farming to his heart's content. Xiong dealing with it rather effectively for now. 30 CS ahead in both the mid and top lanes. Now the time, the clock is ticking, and, and I, I, do, I do agree with that. But if you have a look at OMG's team comp as a whole unit, there's no real clock ticking in terms of being <laughs> outscaled. It's just that King will scale yeah. at that time of the game. Like that is when they'll find strength. Whereas OMG, they are strong right now. And they're going to continue to be strong for the next 10 to 20 minutes, if not longer, depending yeah. on how long this game goes. <laughs> Certainly a tricky situation for King to deal with as OMG sent four members onto the bottom. Once again, Insect and Xiong being absolutely enthralling as they swing their left wet noodles left and right. But no crazy action breaking out as the wave clear is sufficient. And again, blue buff stolen by Cool. That's three blues that Korn has not been able to get. It's been really rough. Even the Evelyn not getting the blues as a spider away per chance has not been happening this game. OMG in complete control. Helps that you've got a Maokai in the top lane who actually has a teleport threat though. In saying that, the rest of the team as a four man are still winning the 4v4. Yeah. They're doing a lot of work. Of course, a 3 0 is here right now. Cool has his two items set in place, ready to go. Korn has been struggling in this lane in the one versus one. Hasn't really used the teleport effectively at all. Certainly not. The siege continues. Cool, keeping Korn occupied in the mid lane. It's about a 5,000 advantage going on 6,000 advantage for OMG. <laughs> just doesn't care. Yeah, there's nothing that can be done to help keep these turrets standing. Insect not able to bring Xiong down. I would imagine. Yeah, he's out of mana. I would imagine he has the Trinity for at this stage, so it's going to be okay for his laning phase. Trinity Force is actually a really good healing item. But he's losing so much lane pressure, even by having to recall at this moment, because Xiang has not let up at all. He will not really stop this relentless pursuit of getting down objective solo. And even in the mid lane, in a one yeah. versus one, OMG are winning this game through laning phase. They're extending their laning phase. <laughs> They've got three bottom, one mid, one top, and they're just getting turrets. Yeah, it's four to one right now. Xiong looks to get yet another one. Insect shows himself on the top side. He's got his turn to be forced finished. He is on the hunt. Lollipop, he <laughs> smells yes. blood in the water. He's uh, walking past people. Where before, disregarding is he actually going? There he goes. He dives in one versus four, looks for cool, and might actually be able to pick up a kill onto him. I cannot believe what we're witnessing. He's continuing to chase forward. Oh, he gets it. Now he finds North. He's going to end up dying in the meanwhile. But the rest of King are trying to turn a fight. They do not succeed. Korn has now joined the battle. Xiong single-handedly zoning them away. Korn 1v3 while the rest of OMG peel away. Korn goes down. <laughs> Name running for his life. He gets dropped as well. That's four members of King dead for what of OMG?
And Poppy did his job. <laughs> I'm sure he's sitting there wondering where his team has gone, given that he just towered, uh, just dove, sorry, <laughs> the Azir, whilst Corky was the one hitting him. That is both of their damage carry oh, threats man. on top of the Poppy, but the rest of King are already so far behind that even though Poppy's big, the rest of the team is definitely not. As you can see, ults the Corky, follows cooldown to the depths of the earth, actually walks out of range for no particular reason, used the flash to catch up to him. Does get the kill, goes down, and meanwhile, a Gragas and a Maokai <laughs> have successfully spent their time 2v3ing both of the other carries of King, because Xiang is huge, and Lovelink is just as big. Yeah. It's Worst part was, that wasn't even a 2v3, that was a 2v4. Diana only really got there and pretty Hue late. And so. Huey died. Yeah. So the Evelyn, 0, <laughs> 4, and 4 at the moment. Doesn't really have items or in a position to do anything at the moment. Uh, King is struggling, but like... They certainly are. They've <laughs> got a Poppy. <laughs> poppy scales. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to go back to this. Believe. I believe in the Poppy. I believe in the King. Dragon secure. That's number three for OMG. And OMG have got complete control of the game. 10,000 gold <laughs> ahead, 24 minutes in. Yes, they are. Oh, boy. That is a lot of gold. Yes, that is a lot of gold. Things that are not looking too gold. great for King. No, look, things have looked better for them. We can, <laughs> yes. we can say that much. Of course, Jiang doing very well in this top lane. Has got his core two of three items. He's at two and a half of those three. Not too far away from the Spirit Visage or the Banshee's Veil as per his choice. Amazing. Super Tank as a support right now. Face of the Mountain working towards that Righteous Glory. And then Corky has got his two core items done. Doesn't even need to upgrade his boots at the moment. And then you look mid. Yeah, it is a terrifying story. 50 CS ahead, another 40 from north. 70 CS lead for Xion. The gold differentials are opening up everywhere in King. Cannot make up their oh, minds got though. The yeah, board. Insect managing to find Xion. Looks like King are gonna try bringing him low, but he's so tanky. Three members are trying to attack him, but they cannot Huey. even hurt him. Huey gets caught out. Monsoon to keep him alive through the ignite. Insect dies, but him. that's not the Get right him. target. He's looking for cool. He only has a few more seconds of diplomacy. It's about to wear out, but he's so tanky. It finally <laughs> wears off. He dies. The rest of King can't pick up a kill. Korn with a quick double dive tries to find a kill. Does not succeed. Three members of Quill. King have gone down now. Four as Loveling flashes the wall. Zero, the sole survivor, watches his base get destroyed as the Nexus goes down and OMG take game number two. There aren't many things you can say about that game without questioning the drafting <laughs> phase. First and foremost from <laughs> this King side as they just get systematically dismantled by OMG. Yeah. It that's... started with laning phase. Oh yeah. From about two minutes into the game. Well, actually from champion select, Xiang's confidence was <laughs> eking through his ever-present smile.